Welcome to Random Hacking Video Channel. Today we will learn about man in the middle attacks and how they are performed using simple ARP cache poisoning method. A man in the middle attack is an eavesdropping attack where the attacker secretly listens to the communication between two parties and may also alter the messages within the communication. This way the attacker can compromise confidentiality, integrity, and also sometimes availability of the communication. However the main goal of such attacks are to gain sensitive information. One such method we will see today is the ARP cache poisoning also known as ARP spoofing attack. To understand this better, let's first learn what is ARP. ARP or Address Resolution Protocol is a communication protocol that helps to resolve MAC address of a host based on its IP address. This involves a host sending ARP replies containing their IP and MAC addresses to other hosts which is then stored in individual hosts' ARP cache. ARP cache helps the hosts within the same local network to know each other's hardware address for seamless frame communication over data link layer. A malicious host attached to the same local network can send fake ARP responses containing different addresses to impersonate other legitimate hosts in the same network. In this illustration, let's assume these are the following IP and MAC address of the hosts connected to the same Wi-Fi. The malicious host then sends two separately crafted ARP replies to Wi-Fi and host. The ARP reply sent to the host contains IP address of the Wi-Fi gateway and MAC address of the attacker host, thereby making the victim host believe that the Wi-Fi gateway is now the attacker's machine. The ARP reply sent to the Wi-Fi contains IP address of the victim host and MAC address of the attacker host, thereby making the Wi-Fi gateway believe that the host is now the attacker's machine. Due to fake ARP replies, all the internet communication initiated from the victim hosts will be now relayed through attacker's NIC and will be then forwarded to the Wi-Fi gateway into the internet. Vice versa, all the internet responses from Wi-Fi gateway will be now relayed through attacker's NIC and will be then forwarded to the victim host. This way attacker performs man-in-the-middle attacks by exploiting the functionality of ARP messages. Let's see the practical demonstration of ARP spoofing attacks. Caution, please do not try this on public or corporate networks without owner consent. This video is only meant for learning and ethical purposes. Assuming that the attacker has already connected to a network, the attacker will look to know the default gateway of its connected network using IP root command. The attacker will further discover other hosts connected to the same network using nmap scan. The following nmap scan result shows the gateway router and a Windows host who will be our target. Before starting with the attack, let's recheck the IP address in the victim machine if it really has the same IP as in the nmap result. The attacker's machine need to be configured for IP forwarding before broadcasting the fake ARP replies. This is required to act as forwarding node to forward all incoming and outgoing packets to the intended targets for avoiding network disruptions and to seamlessly sniff the packets. We will be using the ARP spoof tool, a default bundled package in Kali that takes following arguments such as interface name which will be used as relay, the target IP and the impersonated host. Let's recheck the name of our primary interface which will act as relay node, we can then launch the attack towards Wi-Fi router impersonating as Windows victim machine using following command. Vice versa, we will launch the attack towards Windows host impersonating as gateway IP or router using following command. We can now see that the attacker has started poisoning ARP cache of both router and Windows host. Let's open the Wireshark to start sniffing packets from our own primary interface and set filters. Once we have set the required filters based on our motives, we have to now wait for victim to involve in some web activity.
We can confirm that the attack was successful as we can see DNS queries and HTTP requests a victim. With this we can sniff out sensitive information such as user ID passwords if sent in plain text. If you think you have learned something from this video, please hit like and subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for new hacking videos.